I'm kind of stuck. Look at look at him, Max. He is stuck at 6.4k. He is, guys. I want you to understand how how bad Max is doing. He's currently top 20 GM stuck, dude. Oh wow, bro. How many potatoes in the chat wish they were stuck on 5k, not 6.4k? There's a Max. Listen to me. I'm I'm your senpai. Okay, can we agree on that? I mean, right. I'm your senpai. Everything from bronze to master one is same thing, right? It's all the same thing, same skill level. It doesn't matter, right? Then you have master one to low GM is a, let me, hold on, let me show you this. This is the line of StarCraft II skill. This is Cyril. Cyril. You get the point, that's Cyril, right? This is the end of the line. That's your goal, right? That is your goal. Sarah. This is... Start. It's so hard to write on this shit. Okay, so that's the start. This is Sarah. So this here... Master 2. So from installing the game to Master 2, that's where it's at. Actually, maybe it's even lower. I know you guys are going to think I'm trolling. I'm not, okay? Max, you're paying attention. Hopefully you are. That's master two. So all of this is very easy to reach, right? It's very, I thought you were gonna write max max, no, no, no. No, I'm serious guys, I'm not trying to meme on anyone, but I'm legit talking from a, if you wanna start to be a pro gamer, this is, this is how the thing looks, this is legit. So this is master two. This is very easy to reach, you can reach this if you are, you know, if you've been playing games your whole life, especially RTS games, and practice, I feel like you can reach this from zero to Master two in six months. If you put in the effort, obviously. Not like play two games a day. Um, from here to about here. This is master one. That says five. GM. So this is from start to master. This is from master two to 150 rank GM. Okay. That's about the how much effort you gotta put in. So you need in order to from start to master two is about the same as from I feel like master one, not from master two, but like high master two, master one to top 150 GM. Now from 150 GM right here, in order to get to top 50 GM is about here. This is top 50. That's top 50. So you can see, you almost need to put in as much time from here to here as you did previously. That's how it goes. From here to like, I would say here, this is top 20. This is top 20. So this is how much time you have to put in to get to top 20 from top 50, by the way. Or make it top 16, doesn't matter. Top 15, top 20, top 16, same shit. Is this EU, NA, or World? I'm talking about EU. This is pure BS. Listen to me. That's bullshit. What league are you? What league are you asking to smurf? Let me ask you. Master 3? Well, what do you know, dude? You're right. You're, you're like here, dude. What do you mean? You just barely installed the game and now you're here. How can you know? How can you know what's here? You have no clue. Like, what do you mean? Pure BS. <sighs> Bruh. So anyway, my point is, to get to here, Max, and I know this is only 30 ranks, but you need to put in a lot of time, because to get from Master 1 to Top 50 GM, you can get in there with shit mechanics, um, shit micro, just good builds, I feel like, and some, some kind of knowledge overall looking and when i say shit mechanics i don't mean bronze obviously from 150 to top 50 you need to improve on everything it takes more than six months to reach master two bro bro it took me a month so i've even extended it and i've said it with serious effort not playing two games a day okay um and then watching just chatting for the rest of your time on the day so from 150 to top 50 is when you're going to be facing a lot of sharper timings and 
at this MMR, you're going to be meeting a lot of these players, right? More and more. So at this point, you should be beating everyone that's under and you're going to probably lose everyone that's here. That's how it works for every bracket. Now, when you reach top 50, I feel like you have a good, pretty much everything. Like, you know, good, not perfect, but good. You have a good general sense of the game. I don't think you can be top 50 GM and be clueless about things. It took me two years to get mastered. Yeah, but you had no prior experience in RTS games. You were fucking like nine. That's the difference. I played games for 15 years before I started playing StarCraft. And I played all the strategy games. So anyway. Um, at top 50, you're going to have pretty good game knowledge. You're going to have pretty good micro, pretty good macro. And at top 50 GM, you can peak and you can beat these guys. And obviously you should have a higher win rate against these guys. But you, you start to like meet these guys more often and you can beat them. But why are you not top 20 GM? The reason why you're not top 20 GM is because, not because you're not good enough, you are good enough because you can't beat those people. The problem is you're not consistent enough. And this is where an actual difficult part of StarCraft 2 comes if you look at the start to Serral. This is where the hard part starts because this is only halfway to Serral. And maybe it's not even half, maybe it's like 40% because this is the time where you can't just do random shit, right? You can't just goof around. You can't expect opponent to play shit. The difference between top 50 and top 20 is consistency. How, how consistent are you at pulling your probes from wooden mines? How consistent are you splitting against bailings? How consistent are you macroing while microing? How consistent is your harassment? Everything comes to mind. How consistent you are just at everything, decision making. And that's the reason why it takes so long is because those are not obvious things to fix. They're very hard to fix because you're not necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just that the other guy is doing it better. That's the hard part. When you look at, when you compare Serral to Showtime, you can't really say sh Showtime's shit. Serral is just more consistent. That's the issue. He doesn't really make mistakes. And the difference from these guys to these guys, the reason why you can beat them pretty often, to be honest, is because these guys can slip up much more than this guy right here. So once you get to top 20 GM, now this is the point where you are a known player, right? You are a known player. When you play on the ladder, people will know what you're going to do. They're going to know what your play style is. And this is where you get effed even harder. Because at this point, in order to reach Sarah level, you need to play as if, look at it this way, like your opponents have map hacks, like they know what you're going to do because they know your style. Everyone knows Sarah's style. And this is where mechanics matter more than anything. If you, if you don't improve, obviously every part of your game, but mechanics to the point where if you play 100 games and you need to split against Bailings, you need to succeed 99 times. You can't fail. If you fail 10 times, then that's what you're here. If you fail splitting 10 times out of 100, you're there. If you fail once out of 99, you're here. If you don't fail, you're here. Obviously, Cyril makes mistakes as well. I'm just talking about in general. So my point is to get from here, because you said you're stuck, to get from here to there, you just need time. Like you need to put in time and put in practice. And the worst part is once you reach, I would say top 50 GM, you don't really feel you're better. You feel like you're exactly same, but it's not true. Because if you go back and look at your games from six months ago, you'll see how shit you were. I mean, I'm not saying specific you, but anyone in the chat, go back six times, six months back, you will be like, Jesus Christ, what was I doing? So, you don't feel the improvement because you're not this in your mind you're not necessarily doing anything different and you're not you're just playing more and you're becoming more consistent instead of floating 300 minerals maybe you're floating 250 you know if you're lower league or instead of making an scv you know maybe with a half a second delay now you make them constantly and all those things combine into skill and this is something you don't see because advancing from uh, SA2 Smurf guy to Master 1 or Top 50 Jam is a huge difference, right? I mean, the leagues are different, the 
you know, builds you're going to be doing are different. The players you're going to be pl doing, playing are different. This is all the same. You're playing same people over and over. And that's the hardest part. Because in a way, you know what they're going to do. They know what you're going to do. They know your style. So the only way to beat them is in that specific game by having good tactics, which they're going to probably expect because they've played you. So you need to beat them in mechanics. And that's the hard part because that shit's so hard to improve and it's so hard to work on. Because if I'm not mi microing as well, I can't just be like, oh, I'll just fix micro. Because you can't, uh, I mean, a lot of people suggest, for example, if your baning splits are bad to go into that uh, baning split map. And that's great, that works for low leagues. But the difference is in low leagues, this is how people micro, right? Units are coming, like these are banelings and these are marines, right? And let's say you're in diamond league. So banelings are coming. You're not doing 10 different things. You're like... Whoa, what a split, right? And then you have 2000 minerals. Meanwhile, if you're here, you can't practice on that map because you need to ma macro, you need to do the drop on the other side of the map. You're getting counterattacked at the same time. So you can't just, just practice it. You just need to play insane amounts of games. So TLDR, to improve from here to here, you just need to practice insane amount. Because those guys, look at it this way. You know how in StarCraft 2 economy, if one guy is on 50 probes and you're on 40, technically the game's not over, but you are behind. And these guys have been playing the game longer than you have, years longer, in fact. That's thousands, tens of thousands of games. There are tens of thousands of games ahead of you. That doesn't mean you can't catch up. That just means you have to put in extra work to get there so that you minimize the, the distance between their amount of games and your amount of games. And this is not just StarCraft, this is how sports work as well, this is how everything works. The top 0-1% is so hard to get to, no matter what you're doing. Getting into your, you know, high school, elementary school team, high school team, university team, that's all great. Semi-pro, pro, and absolutely the best. That's how everything works. So whenever you say you're stuck, you're stuck because you didn't advance from this point in the past, let's say, month. But before, you were advancing constantly. That's the difference. It's going to take longer. Instead of advancing five ladder uh, ranks every month, let's say, that you had before, now you're going to advance one ladder rank every three months for a long time. And that's just how it goes. Now, this is only pure skill-wise. Now we're talking about tournament performance, which is a whole different thing. And by the way, it works the same exact way. Instead of leagues, here you would have tournament experience. Cyril is at the top because he has the most tournament experience. And Max, realistically, in tournament experience, you are maybe here on this line because you haven't had enough tournament experience in practice. That doesn't mean you're bad and you can't do it. You just got to play more. That's very much it. It's not all about time. Listen, dude, what do you mean it's not about time? Name me one sports player that doesn't put in the most time possible in what they do. In the world, not in, not in your country. Saying I'm first in my country in most cases means absolute shit. And of course time matters. Whoever tells you time matters, yes, there's talent, of course. There is talent. You know what talent does? You are zero. Talent is zero without putting time effort. That's just how it is. You know what's going to happen? Talent might accelerate this process for you. That doesn't mean you don't have to practice. If you think you don't have to practice because you got talent, Omega lol to you. I play tennis. The difference between me and Djokovic is not the time effort. It is. He's been playing tennis since he was like five years old. He's been playing tennis 10 times longer than you have. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, he's been training every day for the past 15, 20 years. What do you mean? Of course, talent helps. Talent definitely helps. Sarah was literally like a fucking plat player, dude. 
like he wasn't talented and like turned on computer and got into GM. He was platinum for so long. And then he was diamond and then he was masters and then he was GM and then he was high GM. And he played at like top 16 GM for a full year and he lost every single tournament till he started winning. I was, I played since I was five too, really. So S2 Smurf, you want to tell me you were training tennis since you were five every single day for the past 20 years. Is that what you're telling me? With professional coaches, by the way, like actual legit coaches, because that's what Novak Djokovic did. He didn't just play tennis. He actually, that's right. All right. Well, maybe. All right. Anyway, I won't say it. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, you're hundred percent wrong. That's it. Because saying that talent matters and it's not the time invested is just, is just completely ignorant. Pro coaches, well, yeah, great coaches then. Like, whether it's a football player in the world, no one, I've never seen any pro player in the world say, oh yeah, I'm ranked one player in the world. Oh yeah, I picked up football uh, last summer actually. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I just play uh, two hours a day uh, every five days and that's it. No, all of them have been playing since since they were born. This streamer has no idea what he's talking about. Oh, okay, dude, listen. Let me help you out. Let me, can I give you a, a grats? Later. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, you know what, what it comes down to? I banned him. Like, what it comes down to is the guy is salty because he's master two and he's playing every day. That's what it comes down to. And he is like justifying it. Oh, it's not the time invested because I've invested time. Well, yeah, that's the same thing. It also depends how you invest your time, right? Like, if you want to be a football player, there's a, there's a like, I, I feel like this is obvious, but I'm gonna say it, right? It takes so much effort to get banned in my... Yeah, I know, it takes a lot of effort. So, and by the way, someone's gonna say I banned him because uh, he's disagreeing. Not at all. If you have a proper disagreement and argument for it, I'm willing to listen. But saying, oh, I've been playing tennis and it didn't work for me, but it worked for Novak Djokovic. Yeah, maybe because you fucking just suck, okay? I'm not saying fucking my dog can pick up StarCraft and get GM with time, right? I'm not saying that. You need a certain level of talent to be the top. But to say that you don't need time invested into it is insane. Genetics, yeah, you, you need, like for sports, right? You need genetics, I'm not arguing that. But to say you don't need practice is ridiculous. Practice and consistency is what gets the talented players to the top. And also, the one important thing, which again, I thought it was obvious, but I'm gonna say it. You need to have quality practice. If I wanna be a professional football player, I can't just kick the ball in the wall. That's not practicing, you're kicking the ball. You're not playing football, you're kicking the ball. You need to have a coach to teach you things about football. Just like, if I'm StarCraft 2 player and I want to be a pro player, you can't play 4v4s and fucking watch just chatting on the other screen while you're, I don't know, playing 4v4 with your friend and you're going cannon rushing and mass probes and you're like, well, I'm practicing StarCraft. No, you're not. You're playing StarCraft. You're not practicing it. Practicing and playing is two different things. Like, you need to focus for practice. You need to have a goal. You need to set your uh, goal every day. Today I'm gonna do this. Today I'm gonna practice this build. Today I'm gonna check why I lost yesterday. That's practicing. Playing Stark, just because you're, like I see a lot of this when people say, oh, I'm platinum and I've been playing for two years. That means nothing, right? What does you playing mean? Pl like when someone says I've been playing in plat for two years, what does that mean? Have you been playing every day? How many games have you played every day? Um, do you do consistent builds or you do you just do random shit every single day? If you do random shit every single day, of course you're not going to improve because you're not consistent in your actions. So your brain can literally not have a muscle memory on the things you're doing because you're doing different things all the time. That's how that works, guys. Like there's no, there's no secret, right? Yes, there is talent. But even with talent, you gotta put in so much work. I can't believe that there's actually someone thinking that you don't need to practice. It, it boggles my mind, you know? Like right now when people say, you know when people ask me, why don't you become a pro player? Guys, I am playing StarCraft. I am not practicing. I'm legit telling you, in order to have a chance to compete against the guys in StarCraft, I would need to play in practice for minimum of six months 
and I am rank 30, 40, 50 GM to just have a chance against the top guys. And when I say practice, I mean grind out fucking eight plus hours a day, same builds, uh, practice partners, work on things, not to just play the game. That's how it works. You know, you have people that are talented but lazy, uh, talented and have work ethics. Those are called the best players in the world, whether it's a sport or a game. And you have people who are hard workers but just not talented. I consider myself in the talented but lazy group. That doesn't mean that I never practiced. It just, I always have this like, when I was competing, I had this thing where I'm like, well, I learn things pretty fast, so I don't need to practice as much as others, which was my weakness. Because, because I had the advantage of having talent, aka previous gaming experience for 15 years, I should have practiced more because it would have been easier for me, but I didn't. And that's the downside. I was getting beaten by players who had a better work ethic and were less talented. Like whenever I pick up a new game, right? And this is not stroking my own horn. This is like, this is something I'm good at and something I'm bad at. Like you guys saw when I played Red Alert, I got top 10 in the world within four days, right? And that's great, top 10 in the world. Someone's gonna say, haha, Red Alert, Omega, lol. That's fine. But I got that high that fast. And that's when you need to start practicing. That's how my talent carried me through that, right? That's my talent carrying me through that. But that's where I need to start practicing to overcome to get to rank one. And mo you know, other people that don't have the talent for games, maybe they're gonna peak at 100, rank 100, and then they need to start practicing. But the point is, to reach the highest level, you must practice. There is no magic trick, there's no way around it. And whoever tells you that they're not practicing as much or they're not putting in as much effort, they're full of shit, okay? And uh, by the way, before someone mentions Stefano back in the day, Stefano in one interview came semi like hungover and said, oh yeah, I haven't really been practicing or playing for the past two weeks, right? And people took that as, oh my God, he never, he did not log Starcraft for two weeks and now he won a tournament. That's not what happened. You know, because if I play games 12 hours a day, Let's say I'm playing, I'm, I'm WoW Addict, which I am. Um, and let's say I play WoW for 12 hours a day. And someone asks me, hey, what have you been doing today? And I say, oh, not much. I, I, I haven't really been playing WoW much today. Meanwhile, I played five hours. But that's not norm for me, so it's not a lot. But it's still an excessive amount for most people, right? That's how that goes. Man, I love how passionate I get about some things. I know some people uh, don't enjoy it, but when I get passionate about some things, I just have to, I have to go for it. <laughs> no, I don't need to see it for them to see what I was writing. That's how it is. Inside the life of a pro gamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you define talent? We'll talk about that now. But if you guys are watching YouTube, if you want me to rant about some other topics or, you know, obviously filled with passion, let me know. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, also you guys in Twitch, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, like, come on, what are we doing here? All right, you guys in Twitch, let's keep going. 